Hi, in this video we learn about the charts. Tableau is a very powerful tool for creating different types of charts. So Tableau uses a visualization query language for creating different types of charts and it is automatically done here. Now for example, now I'm working in the file named as charts introduction, the same data source that is global superstore 2017. Now what are the different types of charts which are present? So on the right hand side, if you see, there's a show me button here, which is hidden. If I click on this show me button, these are the 24 different types of charts which are created here. Now, for example, if I keep my cursor here, the name of the chart is given as text table. And these are something which are written at the bottom. Now, let us see one by one. What are different types of charts? This one is nothing but the heat maps. If I keep my cursor at this place, it says highlight tables here. If you see, these are the maps which are created filled maps. So these are different 24 types of charts based on your dimensions and your measures. The charts have been chosen. Now, for example, if you want to create a map chart, what are the things you need for that? You need one geo or dimension or you can say one geographical dimension, zero or more dimensions and the third one zero or one measures. Now, what it means to say on the on the left hand side, if you see these are the dimensions and these are the measures. Wherever you find out a geographical symbol or a globe, globe symbol, if you see this symbol is given one geo. So here if I have city, country and these are different geographical uh, dimensions which are present. So this one is compulsory for creating a map chart. If you see here one geo, even if you put zero dimensions, other dimensions or zero measures, still it will work. Okay. For example, again, if I show you here, here it says for this stacked bars, I need one or more dimensions and one or more measures only then it will be created. Now let us see how it works. So if I select any, uh, let's say if I select any city here. So if you observe here, when I click on this city in the dimensions based on the Tableau queries visualization language, which is given here, if you observe, there are some charts which are highlighted. That is the uh, symbol maps and that is the field maps. These are the two charts which are highlighted at this place like this the other charts are disabled. So because here it says this is one geographic symbol. If you see one geographic dimension, which is given, therefore it is highlighted. Now, if I keep my cursor at this place, let's say if I click, keep my cursor at category, category is nothing but one dimension here. If you observe one or more dimension, nothing is selected at this place. So what I'll do is I'll press control key from my keyboard and I'll click on sales, press control key and click on sales. Now, if you observe when I select both of them, some charts in my show me tab are being highlighted. That means my, that is the Tableau visualization query language is triggering up and selecting the charts automatically. So if you see here, there are few charts which are selected here. It says for horizontal bars, zero or one, zero or more dimensions, one or more measures which are given. So here also, if you see, if you want to create a pie chart, that is a pie chart, one or more dimensions, one or two measures which are given. So if I keep my cursor outside and if I deselect those like this, if I keep my cursor anywhere, the charts selection will go away. Now, if I select only sales from here, I've just selected the measure from here. And if you observe what are the charts which are highlighted, if you observe, this is the one chart that is nothing but a histogram. When you can create a histogram, when you have one measure, then only you can create. When you cre can create this one, the horizontal bars, when you have one or more measures part. So based on the visualization query language, Tableau can choose the charts automatically. Okay. So let's see, I have created three sheets, control show me, control show me two and three. So I'll show you three examples. If you want to create a chart, how do you create it easily? So first of all, I'll select this category and second, I'll press control and select this sales. So once I've selected this control options and then selected this show me dialog box, I can select any chart from here. So I'll select this one as horizontal bars from this place like this. I'll click on this place. So if you observe, I have created a horizontal bar chart itself. That is the simplest and easy option. Let's see one more example. Now I'll select one geographic thing that is the country or I'll select the other option. I'll select the state and press control key from my keyboard. And if I press sales, so when I select both of them, if you observe, there are multiple charts which are selected. Now I'll select this option, let's say as field maps. I'll select on this space field maps. And if you observe the field maps have been given here, that's very simple here. Let's see one more. If I select this control plus show me button. Now, if I select some other field, let's say if I select as order date, press control key and select this sales. Now, if I select this, if you see, observe this, there are many charts which are selected. 
So here it is nothing but the line charts which gets activated when there is a flow, when there is a date, when there is a options which are given, this uh, line charts will get activated. Whereas if I select the uh, geographic thing, the line chart gets disabled here. So now I'll select this line chart and if you observe the line chart is created. Now once again if you see control plus show me button, if I select here some other symbol, let's say if I select here state and if I select here as sales. Now once again if you observe here there is no line chart which gets activated because to create a line chart you, you don't have to you don't need this one the state part there is the geographical dimensions so what you need there is you need to select from here the order date and then sales once you select the order date and sales if you observe now the line chart has been activated so based on your dimensions and measures the graphs the charts have been automatically selected that's the beauty of this show me option if you want to hide this show me option, you can just simply click on this place. If you want to bring it back, select this and if you want, you can drag it outside, right? So it's a very easy method. Now, if you want to close it, you can just close it. It will go away. So these are the options which is used for creating charts, control show me button and it will help you to uh, find out which chart is required for your purpose, right? Let's see the next one. Now I'll give you some shortcut tricks if you want to create a chart. The traditional method to create a chart was, I used to tell you, you have to just pick up the option as market and drop into the rows. You have to pick up the sales and you have to drop into the columns. Then you'll be getting a chart. But there are some shortcut techniques. You have to just double click and you'll be getting a chart. Okay, let's see that. Now I'll, uh, I'll clear this option, entire worksheet, cleared this one. So let's see now, if I double click measures first and dimensions second. If I double click on measures first and dimensions second, what happens? Double click on measures first and second is double click on the dimensions, let's say market. So I'm getting a bar chart here. Okay. So whenever you double click on measures first and then you click on this dimension, you'll be getting a bar chart. Let's see the opposite one, vice versa. If I double click on dimension first and measures second, if I double click on dimensions first and measures second, let's see now double click on dimensions first and double click on sales. So now you will not be getting a bar chart, but you'll get a textual representation of your data. Okay. So what is the difference is whenever you select the dimension first measures second, you get graphical that's a textual data here. If you select vice versa, that is the measures first and dimensions second, you'll be getting a chart. Let us try one more. I'll clear this worksheet again. First, I'll select some measures. Let's say I'll select profit and I'll select this option as segment, double click on this place. So you see bar chart I've got it. If I go back to this place, double click first dimension, I'll clear every, everything, click on this button. So double click on the dimensions, let's say I'll select the same thing, region, double click and sales, double click. So you see there's a textual representation. So now every time you don't have to, you know, select the options and drag and drop at every place, automatically this will be created. So only you have to remember what should be selected first and what should be selected next. On the other hand, I'll just give you one more example. If I create a new sheet here and uh, I've created a new sheet that is sheet six, I'll rename it date. Now what I'll do is I'll pick up this date first. If I pick up this order date first, double click on this place and then I'll select the sales. If you observe here, first dimension then measure I've got the textual representation clear it first sales and then I'll select the order date now I'm not getting a bar chart I'm getting a line chart the reason is because of this tableau visualization query language automatically the best suited chart is been selected and it has been drawn right so I hope you understand these are the different methods techniques tricks by which you can use for creating different types of charts which you'll see in the next video that's all for this video